Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as if you look at our other video about the US dollar index, then you'll see that the US dollar just plummeted today. And uh, of course, that has major implications for most of these current pa currency pairs that we analyze because the US dollar is a part of them. So the first one is the Great British Pound and US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken these previous highs. And at the moment, we're trading at, we get rid of this, we're trading at 1372. And uh, well, yes, we are just going to go higher. There's a lot of room to the upside in this currency pair. So next target will most likely to be 13. 80 and beyond that. If you look at uh, these current uh, technical indicators, for example, MACD has crossed the signal line, it's very bullish at this point. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, but we may see a little bit of a pullback. We have seen a small pullback here at the end of the session, and the reason for that is because of the if it's because we're hitting the top of the bullish band. So, usually, what happens here is that we pull back towards the 20 exponential. Uh, in the worst case scenario, we will go all the way down to the 40 exponential and then we'll continue this rally. So there's a lot of room to the upside. The RSI is at uh, 58 at this point. Uh, but because we are hitting the top of the bullish band here, um, do expect a pullback to the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at the 20 uh, move. It's basically the 20 moving average. And that is the 1362 before we go higher. No interest in basically shorting this. Every single dip here, I'll basically buy into as long as the US dollar continues to depreciate. So let's look at the US dollar in yen. So US dollar yen, we broke down quite significantly um, on Thursday and also on Wednesday. And today we broke down towards the level of 103, 0.353. And then we rallied up towards the 50 moving, uh, 20 exponential moving average and then gave most of those gains back. So because we did not manage to break through these 50, these moving averages, this is a very clear sign that this is just going to continue um, to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, for example, the, the Bollinger Band here, it has crossed the middle of the Bollinger Band. And now it's most likely heading towards the bottom of the bullish band. And that is also our target. Uh, MACD is crossing the signal line, also crossing uh, down toward, towards zero. And that is a very, very, very shine. RSI is still bullish. CCI is neg negative. And so stochastic is very negative. You can see the daily stochastic is very, very negative. We can also look at the two um, um, for the next two days and that it is about to fall uh, for a substantial amount of time. And that could mean that we'll go and test these previous lows here, which is actually the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So no interest in basically of buying this. Every time this rallies up towards the 100 moving average or the 50 moving average, it is basically a massive selling opportunity. So let's look at the Aussie Euro dollar and uh, uh, Euro and the US dollar. So um, I was thinking about buying into this uh, today, but uh, I want uh, uh, this currency pair to be trading above the 20 exponential, uh, actually a full candlestick above the 20 exponential before I considered going into this market. Um, as long as we are here, it can tumble towards the 100. It can also it can come tumble, first of all, towards these previous lows, and it can also tumble towards uh, these, uh, the 100 moving average. So I don't want to be caught into that. And uh, one way of this, uh, securing um, uh, is basically to make sure that we're trading above these moving averages. So they are no longer resistant. They will be support. So if you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. So Kassig is very bullish at this point. And MACD is turning around, still underneath zero. Um, there's a lot of room to the upside. We are at the 38 at this point. And the CCI is turning around. So... These set technical indicators are showing signs of life to the upside, and the stochastic is very, 
bullish. MACD, now the bullish band, we hit the bottom here, going towards the middle of the bullish band at roughly 12, 19, 10, and we'll see whether or not we manage to break through that. If we manage to break through that, that means that we'll head all the way up to the top, and that is basically our target. That's another 1.34 percent increase from where we are at this current stage so i have no interest in basically shorting this um, if we drop further from here all the way down to the 100 moving average then that is probably as good of a trade that you will get to the upside so let's look at the aussie dollar us dollar so uh, the aussie dollar us dollar has struggled and um, it uh, has tried to break through this lower um, trend line or this channel we are actually just underneath, uh, but if we manage to get into this channel yet again, that means that we'll head towards 0 0.80. That is our target. We started um, buying into this uh, today, and my, um, my gut basically tells me that we are basically going here. There's just too much um, support underneath, and we um, tried to break down here while the US dollar was uh, appreciating, and nothing really happened here. So when the dollar starts um, depreciating again, like it, it, it basically did today, then that means that we are going to see uh, at some point, uh, basically a really, really bullish candlestick towards the upside. So I have no interest in basically shorting this. We have been in a, a very gradual uptrend for a very long time now, all the way since in November, we broke out of here and then we have just traded, we have been just trading um very slowly to the upside but um i've no interest in basically shorting this this is definitely a buy if you look at technical indicators um they are also moving very slowly macd is still underneath the signal line the rsi is bearish at this point the cci is uh, flat stochastic is bullish and uh, we are right here at the top of the bullinger band so we are running into some uh, come some kind of resistance, but I don't. I think we are going to get through this and go ahead towards the top of this channel. So let's look at the Aussie now Euro US dollar and the Canadian dollar. We broke through these previous lows, and we can just get rid of this, and then we pull back. At this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback towards the twenty exponential or probably the forty exponential moving average before we go lower and uh, yes that will basically give us a room for well the next move to the downside we are in a downtrend we have been for a very very long time and um, the 20 40 50 have been major resistant area so every time we get close to those moving averages it is basically just sell this so technical gears some of them are turning around MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, but we're hitting the bottom here of this Bollinger Band, and that is the reason why I think that we're going to pull back. So we'll pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band at least, and then we'll continue even lower. So probably next target somewhere down here at 12.50 or give or take around that area. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. And the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.